I stand here today as Israel's Minister for Social Equality and the Advancement of Women, representing the silenced voices of Israeli women. On October 7th, Israeli women were brutally raped and slaughtered by Nazi Hamas terrorists. Their bodies were mutilated, their heads decapitated, they endured gang rapes and were burned alive. For the past year, the voices of global women's organizations have fallen silent, those who falsely claim the title of feminists. These hypocrites shout, me too, but only if you're not a Jew. To you all, I present this grave indictment. Since the war began, I have reached out to each of you, women's and human rights organizations, through every possible channel, with one clear demand publicly condemn what was done to women in Israel. But there was no response, only a thunderous silence. Why? Because in your eyes, the blood of Israeli and Jewish women is worth less, far, far less. Let me teach you something about feminism as you clearly lack understanding. True feminism isn't dyeing your hair blue and dancing in the middle of European streets. True feminism isn't staying silent when mothers, grandmothers, and young women are slaughtered, raped, and kidnapped. True feminism stands with Shiri Bibas, who were kidnapped with her two infants, not with the monsters who tore her from her safe bedroom in her pajamas, not with them. True feminism stands with the only democracy in the Middle East, not with the deranged dictatorships where women are shot for allowing a strain of hair to escape their headscarves. The first rule of feminism, when a woman tells you she's been brutally raped and her legs have been cut off, your first response should be, I'm so terribly sorry, how can I help? Not demanding forensic evidence, or maybe, just maybe, asking the question that your organizations are very well known of. Are you okay? This was your slogan, right? When she tells you she was forced to shower at the gun point in captivity with a terrorist touching and kissing her, you should offer a huge help of any kind, not a knife right in her back. You all saw, all of you, saw the mutilated, burned, limbless bodies of Israeli women we found Israeli women shot in their genitals, and it didn't even move you one bit. I didn't see you dance with tambourines, chanting like you do all the time, cease fire now, cease fire now, when Tamar and Jonathan from Nir Oz were slaughtered along with their three young children, while our children fought with their bare hands against thousands of Nazi-like monsters invading our homes and our land. The murder of Jewish families is not a just struggle against oppression, not at all. All of you know, just know how to shout empty, empty slogans, ridicule slogans about free Gaza. You support all this wall. You support the subhumans who dismantle Israeli women to parts and hammer dozens of nails into their private organs. That is what you ignore all the time. You embrace the five men who, armed with knives and hammer, dragged a naked Israeli woman on the ground, gathered around her as she screamed for her life, raped her, and finally slaughtered her. I'm not disappointed in you. I'm disgusted. I despise you. You are all liars. You are all actresses. After this grave indictment, I have one conclusion. I find you guilty. Guilty of abandoning Jewish Israeli women's blood. Guilty of betraying women's basic rights. And your sentence is one. Your sentence for eternal shame. You will be remembered for who you really are. Your historical role ended on October 7th. You are proven to be without any any real agenda or any moral backbone. You are anti-Semites who don't care about women's rights or any human rights for that matter. 
We will protect our mothers and sisters and daughters from terrorist organizations and from you, the accomplices of the terrorists in your fake women's rights organizations. And always, always remember, from the river to the sea, Jewish women will be free. Never again. Never again. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and hit subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, stay informed and inspired. This is Dijabnik signing off.